Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin and in this video I will show you how to create a simple Gantt chart in Excel. Um, we have here our data for our house building project that I showed you in the last uh, video. And now we're going to create an, a Gantt chart from it. First we insert uh, an empty bar chart and we're going to pick a stacked bar chart. Now this is all empty, so we need to fill it with data. We're going to go to select data. We're going to add data to it. Um, first we will add the start date series here. We'll add the values, the start dates. And as you can see, Excel is now creating our chart for us. We'll also add the duration. and the values, the duration in days for each of the projects. As you can see, this is coming on top of the start dates. Um, now we also will add the labels, the steps in our building project. And we'll click OK. As you can see, this sort of looks like a Gantt chart, but you want to lose these later on. But first, we'll just make the oh, chart a little bit bigger. So all the numbers display properly, all the dates display properly. And also you can see this in the recording as well. The first step we're going to do is in a Gantt chart, you want the first task to be on top instead of at the bottom. So we'll just select the Y axis here and we'll right click here, we go to format axis and we click categories in reverse order. Now we have the building permission first, then the foundation and the Boston roof. Now we're going to lose the start dates. We're not actually going to remove them, we're just going to make them invisible by clicking format data series and we're going to select no fill and no border. As you can see, once I click somewhere else, they're gone, but they're still pushing the duration date days to the correct dates. So that's why we need them. Uh, we'll also delete the legend to create some space. Um, and we want to have the start date here. On the, so we want to move this there. Uh, and we don't want to start it at the 7th of November. Now we're gonna do a little trick. Um, Excel represents dates as days after 1900. If you go to Format Cells and you click here, you, you, here we have the, our date and we click on General, we can see the number of days that Excel has calculated since 1900. That's 41275. Now remember this property and we go to Format Access and we're going to insert this number here because this is going to be the start of our range. As you can see now it starts it's the 1st of January. This is a step you normally don't have to do but because we have hidden data, bef data before the 1st of January you do. Also what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, these intervals a week. We go to major unit and we go to fix instead of 10 we click we type, type in seven, seven days. As you can see now, this is all a week, which is what you want in a Gantt chart. Um, am I missing something here? No, I think we're done. Well, let's just make it a bit wider. So this dates separate nicely. And you can see now, uh, when do we start with the walls? Well, it's in this week and it's done on the 27th of March, which is just as we calculated. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to receive email updates when I post a new video, 
or get tips and tricks on how to learn to use Excel in a smarter way, uh, click on the uh, button in the bottom right corner. This will take you to my website worksmarter.tv and you can subscribe to my mailing list there. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.